Hey guys, so now let's go over the programming mode of the new MacDev clone board. Okay, so to get into the programming mode, you're going to want to hold the trigger down, turn the gun on, and it'll bring you to the programming mode, and bring you right to debounce. To go into set or change any mode, you're going to want to hold down the trigger, wait for it to, and then it'll, it'll say hold, and then it'll say debounce again, or whatever setting you're on, and then I'll click, and I'll say set, colon, and whatever it's set at. Uh, off default, it's set to 10 milliseconds, so I'd just leave it like that. I don't like playing with any of the default settings unless it's really necessary. So, and once you're done going up and, and to set it, you're going to want to use the up and down arrows that are right here, right here, these up and down arrows to set it, go up, go down. And then once you're done setting it, you're going to want to Hold the trigger again, it'll say hold, and then it'll go debounce 10 milliseconds. So then to go from setting to setting, you're going to want to click down. It'll bring you to cycle mode, which are the different modes that are on the gun. And the modes are, so it's, let me get it back to the, okay, so it's semi-auto. Okay, so it's semi-auto, uncapped, semi-auto capped, PSP ramping, PSP burst, NXL full auto, millennium, ramping, response, auto response, burst, full auto. And then it goes back to semi-automatic uncapped. So for what I play, I'm going to set it to PSP burst. So I'm going to hold the trigger, it'll set it, PSP burst, okay? So I'll go over what all the modes are in another video. So cycle speed is pretty much what it's capped at. So there's two cycle speed modes. There's one that sets it by one. So I have it set at 15 because that's what I play at. And then there's um, there, like you can go all the way up to uncapped pretty much as high as you want to go, up to 30. And then after cycle speed, there's cycle speed fine, which is the point of the balls per second. So you click that, you hold down the trigger to set everything, and then you go up and down for the cycle speed fine, which is just 0.1 each, each uh, uh, time you hit one of these buttons back here. So the next one, is when you're, if you're playing on ramp, it's when the ramp starts to kick in. I have that at four. That's the lowest it can go because my fingers are extremely slow on my left hand. So, and it goes all the way up to, I believe, eight. Um, ramp degree, so is every time you click another trigger pull, the uh, ramp will times it by that. So I have mine set to five, which was the default, actually. Um, Mechanical debound setting is one. I, I'll go over what that means. I'm not even sure what that means yet. Probably should have reviewed before I made the video. Anti-bolt stick, off or on. Uh, cycle filter is... I'm not sure what that is. I'll go over what each of these are. Ball settle delay is... If you're using a force feed hopper, when um, sometimes the ball takes a couple milliseconds to settle down in the breach, so... This is the delay between each shot is started between each cycle is starting to fire, so it'll give it'll leave time for the ball to settle because if you're using a four speed hopper, the ball will kind of bounce around in the breach a little bit. Uh, solenoid on time is the uh, solenoid recharge time, which is should be always left, um, which should always be left at default. The I function on off. Uh, there's an auto power off button, which is pretty neat. So, if you're one of those people that before a tournament just forgets to and shut left forgets to shut their gun off in their gear bag the night before, this gun will shut off half an hour, if not, uh, will shut off every half an hour regardless. So it might not be like the best gun for you woods ball players ever, like because it'll some of those games can last a couple hours. 
You can always set that higher, but I'll leave it at the default settings. Um, game timer, there's a display on the main screen for when you just turn on the gun. You can either have game timer um, or you can have um, shot count or uh, firing speed. I kept it at firing speed because that just I want to make sure my gun's shooting at the right speed all the time. So I don't go high, I don't go low. Um, there's display brightness settings, which is the OLED board, how bright it shines. If you want more battery efficiency, I'd keep that lower. But how it is stock is the battery efficiency that says that you'll get in the manual and on the website. Um, there are different player profiles. So let's say you and your brother, you and your buddy are sharing a gun, or you play in two different tournament leagues with two different rules. You can save a profile for either you, your friend, or whether it be different tournament rules. So you don't have to go in every time and change your marker settings and everything. So that's kind of nice. So like right now I'm playing two different tournaments. Right now I'm playing like three or four different tournaments. So I, I'm, pretty, I'm not sure how many profiles you can have, but I'm going to work on setting one for IWPL which is full X-Ball matches and one for NWTS, which is any mode you want 15-4, which I think is kind of stupid because next time we'll just play full auto and just have a little fun. Um, the next setting is to load your profile, is to load all the different profiles that you have. Um, then there's a reset to default button, and then it brings you right back up to the events. So that just about covers every single programming mode. And to save all of your programming modes, just shut off your marker once you're done. Um, once you're done, just uh, changing all of the settings around. So just that's to just save it. So that's pretty much it for the board and the functions of that. Um, I'll put up a video of it shooting possibly, and definitely a. Uh, video of how to lube up the uh, drivetrain but other than that there's this gun's just amazing right it's just incredible I've been waiting for a while for this gun and I finally got it and I'm looking forward to using it at my tournament this weekend thanks see you YouTube